Today, we are going to understand about interactivity. In this module, let us understand different definitions of interactivity given by many experts. Identify key elements of the term interactivity. Differentiate between navigation and interactivity. Differentiate between hyperlinking, hypertext and interactivity. Interactivity is the extent to which one can interact actively. The term comes from active responding and explicit feedback. The learner interacts with some material. In the sense, the learner is active, the learner is trying to give response to whatever computer presents to the learner. Various experts have tried to define interactivity. And let us understand all these definitions and what they talk about interactivity one by one. Interactivity term is used in several contexts. It has a wide range of applications. Many a times interactivity term is equated with hypermedia. The term hypermedia and hypertext are related to navigation. Whenever learner navigates, it is said that learner is interactive. We need to understand whether that is the true meaning of interactivity. Let us understand what a truly interactive computer multimedia package would do. There are many characteristics of learners, maybe some psychological parameters, physiological parameters, cognitive understanding. If a computer is trying to understand all these learners characteristics, analyzing learner and then trying to provide solution that would be the highest interactivity. So, the experimental data about the learners characteristic is gathered. By analyzing this data, computer will judge what the learner would require now henceforth and accordingly by analyzing learners learning styles, learners cognitive abilities, learners interest, computer will give individualized learning experience to that learner. So, Dr. Shugata Mitra and Sushmita Mitra have written an article in which they say that when computer derives and identifies proper appropriate educational content from the bank of educational content and provides to individual learner, then we can say that computer is truly interactive. Let us see how Alice talks about interactivity. Interactive teaching strategies may involve a range of activities to engage learners. This include making choices and decisions, composing, taking notes and making evaluations and judgments, constructing, drawing and controlling. So, when learner is engaged in some activities where learners can take their own decisions at every step, learners can get involved in note taking, they may have choices and they may take their own decisions and select choices. If learners are becoming judgmental for some decisions, then we can say that computer assisted instruction package is making learner truly active. So, whenever the package is making learner active, we can say that package is interactive. So, activity is the keyword which is used in interactivity. To understand the term interactivity better, let us see some definitions of the term activity or active. Mariam Webster dictionary has defined the term interact. Let us see how it is defined. Mariam Webster defined the verb to interact as to act upon each other. So, here if two parties, two persons, two objects or one person and one object is acting on each other, we can say that interactivity is taking place. Now, here we can talk about computer and learner. What is an action? You might have learnt in physics that when action happens, one object operates on the other and state of the other object changes. So, in interactivity, the object acts upon the person and as a response, the person 
acts upon the object. You can visualize how this learning process is taking place when learner learns with a CI package. CI package provides some stimuli for learner and learner is responding to this stimuli. Kirsch David says, interactivity is a complex dynamic coupling between two or more intelligent parties. Savlilis has defined interactivity as, interactivity implies doing as opposed to being, action and reaction with another whether it be a computer, a person or the surrounding environment. Now imagine a learning situation where learner is listening to somebody, watching something, proceeding ahead, watching another piece of information, video, graphics, watching multimedia, watching animation, reading information, viewing graphics. In all these processes, learner is being. Learner is just static and watching, reading, viewing. The term interactivity is not related to this being component. It's about doing. So when you make learners do something, instead of just being static, passive, we can say that the material is interactive. So interactive multimedia offers such a situation to the learner where the entire information base, the knowledge base is controlled by the learner. The learner is actively participant in processing that information. Learner even have choice to control pace, sequence, how much and when to learn. This choice is with the learner. Control of pace is with the learner. In an article of 1996, Dr. Ravi Puvaya has also written about interactivity. User can interrupt, interrogate, repeat or pause, adjust the pace, scan, review, locate and modify the material according their individual needs. So the entire control of viewing, accessing material at own pace is with learner. Learner can scan through, learner can repeat material, learner can pause and learner can act upon the material also. Dr. Lavalilad speaks about a virtual world, a learning world, a learning environment in which learners can act upon various elements. Let's see what she says about interactive world. The interactive level is the level of practice representing the way the student acts in the world or at least in a world constructed by the teacher such that their interactive activities will give them experience of the theory in action. Computer assisted learning, if it makes proper use of the technology, engages students in manipulation of data, experimentation, testing, analysis, all the activities appropriate to situating the theory in practice. So we understand that interactivity helps us apply theory into practice. If a learner goes on reading theory, understanding theory, we cannot guarantee that the learner can actually practice the theory. If we want learners to work in the field, to apply knowledge, we need to make them work in an, a simulated or an interactive world, real like world where learners will act, they will take decisions, they will choose variables and they will try to apply their knowledge, apply their theory into practice to solve real like problems, real world problems. Ward and Arshad again talk about interactive learning environments. They say, to be truly interactive, a computer based information system must provide all logical channels and modes of communication at an interface which is essentially transparent in the sense that it supports the intention of the user to search for, access, examine and make effective use of information. In an educational context, 
and interactive system should allow a self-paced access to learning materials. So we have seen that basically all these experts are talking about a pool of knowledge, a pool of information which is handed over to the learner. The learner is not merely accessing that information but it's scanning, examining, analyzing, reflecting in that knowledge base or in that pool of information. So learner needs to be very active while learning from this knowledge basis. Imagine multimedia work where there are many multimedia elements. There may be text, images, 3D animations, 3D images and the learner is moving through all these multimedia objects. The learner is accessing these objects one by one. If such a facility is provided to run through all this multimedia work, we will say that this particular multimedia work provides navigation facility. By the term navigation, we are actually narrowing the possibility of interactivity. The feel is created by such a multimedia work that the learner is very active. But if you think about cognitive ability of the learner and cognitive process which is going on, you will realize that the learner is not interacting with the knowledge base. The learner is just busy moving forward, backward, clicking on one multimedia work, opening that, closing that, accessing other work, closing that and moving ahead. The content here is fixed in its nature. The content is not changing. Only learner is accessing this content. So the content is static. Learner is in a way static. The learner's behavior, cognitive behavior is not changing. Learner does not take any challenge which involves his or her cognitive ability and the material is just hidden in many components and the learner is revealing those material pieces. And that's why an emergent world is created which creates an illusion that the learner is interactive. Is this material really interactive? Such a material cannot be labeled as interactive multimedia. Simon Wick says, the term interactivity can be used to refer to those works which features some form of responsiveness to the reader, where that responsiveness causes the content of the work to be altered. Such an approach is in marked contrast to the unresponsive character of non-linear navigable work. Whenever we have discussed this definitions of interactivity, definitions of active, action, we have seen that the object changes the person's behavior. So whenever you, the material is making learner responsive, whenever the learner is responding, choosing something, giving its own answers, selecting from some options, then we can say that the material is introducing interactivity. Even Dr. Roderick Sims have cautioned experts. Whenever there are many menus, learners are selecting from menus, they are opening certain modules and passing through this entire knowledge pool, it may create an illusion that they are interactive. But learners is not interacting here. So Dr. Sims says that such a material should not be considered as interactive material. Instead of talking about such kiosk kind of material, information pool, why not talk about games? Why not talk about simulations? Why not talk about interactive material which involves some activities, actions for learners? These kind of activities will lead to true acquisition of knowledge. New skills can be acquired, new understandings can be developed through such material. Let's see what Dr. Perrin Dollard say. Interactivity is not pressing a key to advance to the next page. Interactivity requires meaningful feedback to each learner response leading towards an essential goal. Learning packages have definite goals, definite objectives. These objectives are written for the learners to acquire. If learners need to achieve these objectives, learners need to progress. Just by clicking buttons, 
proceeding ahead going through like an e-book kind of material how will learners achieve these objectives if you want learners to acquire something reach till these goals then they need to be active they need to do something how can we achieve this kind of interactivity in our ci packages steamler has given some criteria some tips to bring in interactivity he says that after every 3 4 screens give at least one activity of 1 minute for learners so learners can give response so some small activities after 3 4 screens by reading understanding content given on the previous screens or before proceeding ahead with the new piece of content something related to that new piece of content can be asked to the learner so by using general knowledge previous knowledge logic learner will act upon the content and then the content can be presented after that activity there can be smaller chunks of contents there can be inbuilt questions inbuilt questions are different than assessment questions assessment questions are asked after you learn the content and inbuilt questions are part of learning content instead of directly imparting information the material can ask some questions to the learner and learner's responses to those questions are actually learning activities so these kind of inbuilt exercises something to summarize something to think upon can bring in interactivity ask as many questions as you can but be careful that these questions should not interrupt the flow of the content asking any question just to repeat understanding of the previous content is not a good question so immediately after a content is presented do not ask similar question where the same content is to be retrieved so we should not ask learner a question where learner has to repeat the previous knowledge without thinking it's not about rote memory ask a question or an activity or an exercise to the learner for which learner will need to think upon and comprehend interpret apply the previous knowledge so plan some thought provoking activities where learner can use knowledge acquired in previous content when you have two different frames of content chunks just to proceed ahead with the next frame of content you may ask some rhetoric kind of questions just to arouse curiosity of learner and just to maintain continuity in your presentation instead of providing linear content linear information why not provide some exploratory activities where learner is exploring the content and then discovering a new piece of information that also will bring interactivity in the content there are some characteristics of interactive material immediate response for further knowledge pieces non linear access to material right or wrong responses and directions for future learning are some of the characteristics some more characteristics are availability of number of options for adaptability and feedback length of time required for allowing the learner to interrupt or initiate an action learner control with some degree of responsibility to the user these characteristics and experts views on interactivity are worth considering those are very useful for teachers to bring in interactivity in the class to choose appropriate interactive multimedia and for instructional designers to write interactive storyboards remember even though we are using computer high end technology if learners are not active we cannot guarantee learning so whenever we are developing any computer assisted instruction package in e content we must make sure that we are asking something to learners we are keeping them active providing some activities inbuilt in the package for the learners